Hi. Thank you yeah. for having me. Yeah. Okay. I have um, one question that has two parts, I believe. We have one answer that has infinite parts. <laughs> okay. Well, here it is. I heard a, a CD of a seminar recently of Abraham, and my understanding was that there was a difference of the person wanted something really a lot or quite badly or however you put it. Anyway, and what was said was uh, you're determined too much, which was not good. So my question is, what is the difference between being determined and being focused? Because there's something that I want, and I've already had it, and I want it again, and I'm very determined about it, and so am I too determined? What? Well, we like the word determined, actually. We like what it means. Determined and focused, we can see meaning the same thing. But sometimes when we're visiting with someone, sort of is about the conversation that we began with earlier about inspiration and motivation. When you are efforting, that always means you haven't done the vibrational work and you're trying to compensate for not having done the vibrational work with effort. And it never works out very well because you're bucking your own current. It's like not believing that it's going to happen, but willing to work really hard in order to try to make it happen. I'm determined that this is going to happen. And when you've got your fist clenched and you're efforting, that's a really good indication that you're wobbling and that you're attracting in opposition to what you want and you're trying to fix it through words or action. So that's why we're teaching just chill out, be general, be determined to feel good, be determined to be happy, be determined to be easy about it, be determined to do the vibrational work, be determined to practice the art of allowing, be determined to allow it to flow to you. Be determined to know that it's there. Be determined to expect that it will come. Be determined to rendezvous with things at the right time. In other words, let your focus and your determination be about your vibration for a little while rather than your action. And that's the only distinction that we ever make. We don't think that you can be too focused unless you're focused upon what you don't want. Every subject is two subjects, wanted on one end of the stick and absence of it on the other. And sometimes you have really got a vibration going about the absence of it and you think you've got a vibration going about the presence of it. So you're just trying, 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 trying and it doesn't move because you're in a different vibrational place than you recognize because of the effort that you are applying. If it's not coming easily, you're not on the path of least resistance. If it's not coming easily, it's not coming. If it's not coming easily, it's not coming. Not what you really want. A diminished piece of it might be coming, but what you really want isn't coming unless it's coming easily. Strong words and we mean them. So what I'm talking about you're saying is not in my vortex? No, it's in your vortex. Could I possibly be, since I've done it before, you know that. Correct? Even if you've never done it before, it's still possible. Okay. Having done it before has nothing to do with something coming. Just lining up with it is all that's necessary. There are all kinds of things that you've not yet accomplished that are coming. Okay, well, could I possibly be, um, since I had this always before I moved to this certain city where I live now, is it possible that I am not located in the right place? Nope. Personally, I don't nope. believe that. But it's possible for you to think that and then yeah. block it. Right. Now, what you want can come to you wherever you are. Location means nothing. Vibration goes everywhere. <laughs> However, you should go to New York. <laughs> I'm a little confused. 
Well, we're talking to our opera friend. It's not all about you. <laughs> oh, darn. <laughs> oh, man. Whatever you want is coming to you. Your beginning question was really a good question because that is the thing that gets in the way of so many people. They get fixated on something, they get determined about something, and they just try, 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 and they don't realize that they're all balled up vibrationally, and so their effort doesn't yield them anything. And that's what makes you get discouraged. It makes you not believe in your worthiness. It's what makes you give up on things, you see? And so we're wanting to reorient you, all of you, and make you realize that if you're trying and if you have been trying it's a really good indication that you've got a vibration going that you're trying to overcome but you're not really overcoming it you got to be wobble free so that's why we're just encouraging you to start in a more general place and let new inspiration come to you about how to behave and what to do let the new inspiration carry you because determination is often I've got this plan and it's worked for me before and this is a plan that a lot of people have used and it has these steps and I will do these things but it doesn't take into account the vibration that you've got going on that is keeping any of those steps from being effective for you so that's why the conversation that we had earlier about motivating yourself to the effort and to the steps and to the things that you've done before is not the best plan just chilling out and going more general and feeling softer about it and easier about it and more general about it and more expectant about it and more hopeful about it. If you could reach the place, and we so want you to hear this, I'm going to choose these words specifically for you. If you can reach the place where you can joyfully live with the absence of what you want to manifest, because the presence of the idea of it is so delicious then the presence of it must come to you and will quickly but if the manifestation of it means so much that it's agonizing in the absence of it then you can't get there from there so that sort of freaks our physical friends out they say oh we get it Abraham so what you're saying is if I don't want what I want then I can get what I want and we say well, it's sort of kind of like that, but it's not don't want what you want because you can never stop wanting what you want. The desire is not going to go away, but you can find ways of allowing what you want to flow to you. And these ways are by being more general about it, by being more patient about it, by being easier about it, by not being so urgent about it, by not trying so hard, by not making it such a big hairy deal. Because what you want isn't what you think you want. It's the journey to it that you really want. And you all think you want the shortcut to what you want, but it isn't being there. It's going there. It's the process of going there that is the whole reason that you even want what you think you want. Does Abraham think that I am agonizing over this? We think agonizing is too strong of a word. We think that you are efforting, and we think you are in your own way. And we think that you're figuring out how to get out of your own way and that it's going to be so fun to figure out how to get out of your way about this because when you figure out how to get out of your own way about this you will figure out how to get out of your own way about everything and then you will be the truly unlimited being that you know that you are great how do I get out of my own way <laughs> I really want to know that I do I because when I think about this I think you already know this Abraham I think about it I mean correct me if you think I'm wrong I am my cells divide with joy. I live in this in my head all the time. Well, I love it. Maintain that vibration and it must be. When you feel like that, you're on the right track. Well, Feeling like that. Am I on the right track? Well, sometimes you're there and sometimes you're not. And when you are there, you're on the right track. And when you're not, you're not. Okay. Okay. So let's put that right here to this side, what it is that I want. If I'm having weeks or a day or an hour, where I'm not feeling, I'm agonizing or something, I'm not feeling so great about something, does that throw the other thing out as well? It doesn't throw it out, but here's the thing. You're practicing your frequencies. So the more airtime you give to things that feel good, the better off you are. So now here's a piece. You're really going to like this. All of you are really going to like this. You are better off in terms of getting to where you want to be if you are general and feeling good than if you are specific and feeling bad. Mm. 
You are better off getting to where you want to be if you are feeling good and specific than if you are feeling good and general. You got to figure out if you're feeling good or if you're feeling bad before you let momentum build. And that's the key to real deliberate creating. Because a lot of you feel like, well, if I just try harder, if I just turn up the juice, if I just make it go stronger, that that's the path. And we say, it might be and it might not be, but make sure that you're in the vibration that you want to be in before you get more specific. You see? You do see. You, that was very clear. So now we're going to say that again. You're better off in terms of getting to where you want to be by feeling good than by feeling bad. That's easy to understand. You're, bet, you're better off in getting to where you want to be by feeling good and general than by feeling bad and being specific. So when I'm general and feeling good, then this will come. When you're general and feeling good and maintaining it, Amazing. then you're going to be a little more specific and feeling good. And then you're going to be a little more specific and feeling good. And then you're going to be a little more specific and feeling good. And then you're going to be more specific and feeling good. And as long as the feeling good part is still in there, then it's going to come. Well, it's already come in general terms. It's the specific terms you want, yes? Didn't we just now have another conversation about moving it from vibration into manifestation? General to specific is the same conversation of moving it from vibration into demonstrated, see it, hear it, smell it, taste it, touch it. First time, good discussion. Do you see me being able to do this easily? Do, do, you, do you evaluate me? I want to do this. So we wanted to know. We don't evaluate you. We know it is done and we are eager for you to know it. Okay. Not because we want you to get it, but you will. Mm -hmm. But because when you know it, then you're in alignment with who you really are. Yeah. Yeah, really good. Okay, thank you. Yeah.